Hey everybody, so here we are talking about evapotranspiration, the process by which plants and trees drink water from the ground with their roots, send it upwards through the trunks of their trees, breathe out the water that they don't need for photosynthesis, which is actually most of it, about 90% of that water they breathe out as water vapor. And on this side, you can see we have a nice sunny sky with some fluffy clouds. And now we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna show you this incredible phenomena that we have here in the cloud forest. As the clouds build up, you can see the convection here, the cumulus forming. And then over here, these dark thunderheads starting to build up. So I'm actually on my way home, walking home and need to get going so I make it on time. But what's, it's been a very hot day, but what's been happening is these trees and plants have all been evapotranspiring, is that a word? Ev evapotranspiration, evapotranspiring the water upwards. It's been building in the sky as it breathes out as water vapor. As it rises, the vapor cools, right? It cools off a whole lot. And as it goes up into the atmosphere, it's getting ready now to come back down as rain, as it nucleates into raindrops. The other thing that's really helping all that water vapor nucleate into raindrops is that all these leaves on all these trees around me have little organs on the underside of the leaves called stomata, which also breathe out a bacteria that attracts, you know, that also goes up into the atmosphere with the water vapor and then is a nucleus for all of those little tiny particulates of water vapor to coalesce and come back down as rain. So these trees and plants, not only do they know how to breathe the water vapor out that they need, they also know how to send out the particles into the air that will attract the particulates to each other to form the raindrops to come back down. So I need to get back going here on this road, walking home. I've got about two miles to go before these, the storm breaks and that will cool off the temperature drastically, which is another way that uh, plants and trees cool the planet.